Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a problem that we haven't done before on this channel. But I know it's a very popular topic and I just wanted to try uh, solving a problem and hopefully we're going to be doing more problems. If you like the idea, please let us know in the comment section down below. When I say us, I meant the audience, right? Because it's only me, basically a one man team and my actually son used to help me, but now he's no longer able to help me. Uh, anyways, I don't know why I talk about this, but here's a problem. We have two to the power X, but it's not like to the power because it's kind of like a left power. What is that supposed to mean? It's not a base. It's not an exponent. It's actually called tetration. Let's talk about what it means starting with the Wikipedia definition. So in mathematics, tetration is an operation based on iterated or repeated exponentiation. You know how we have multiplication for repeated addition and some people don't like that idea. I know some math teachers that comes up with weird new math. Anyways, let me not get into that because it kind of pisses me off. But repeated exponentiation is tetration, repeated addition is multiplication in some sense, and repeated multiplication is exponents, as you know, right? If you write the 5 10 times and multiply, that is 5 to the 10th power. And imagine you writing 10 a million times, you wouldn't want to write it a million times. Oh, come on, how long would it take? That would probably take a long time, right? Not forever, but it would take a long time. You wouldn't want to do it. So, that basically means, look, so when I write something like, okay, I have five and then I write a two, that just means use the five twice, but in an exponential way. So kind of like this, five to the power of five. And as you know, this is gonna be 3,125, right? It's kind of like a shortcut because what if I had something like X and we, with a little 10 here? That means I'm gonna stack up 10 X's like this, X to the power X to the power X to the power X, you get the idea. What if I put an infinity here? That's gonna be an infinite number. Obviously we have a finite number of X's here, but you get the idea. So that number to the left and above tells you how many times I'm supposed to use the X in this case. So we have a scenario like this, right? I don't know how to read it. Oh, by the way, uh, you can use the arrow notation, the up arrow, or the left exponent. They're pretty common method. I like the left exponent because you can kind of come up with problems like, you know, X, X, and then X, and then set equal to something. Obviously, this would be much harder than solving something like this, right? Anyways, let's get back to uh, this problem because this is, I think, this is pretty basics. And one of the things that's interesting about these problems is you can't always start on the left-hand side. Sometimes you need to start on the right-hand side. Okay, we have a single tetration. This means you're going to stack up x2s, like 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, and you're supposed to get a 16 from here. Okay, how do we handle something like this if it's harder to start on the left-hand side? Then you start on the right-hand side. So how do we write 16 as a tetration? Good thinking. So think about 16 as powers of integers. 16 is 4 squared, one way to write it. Another way to write it is 2 to the 4th power. Nice. Now 4 squared, uh, you're kind of stuck. Yes, you can write it as 2 squared squared, but then it's just going to turn into 2 to the 4th power, right? It's not going to turn into something like 2 to the 2 to the 2. Wait a minute. Does it not? Well, it does actually. But it's not coming from there, it's coming from the other one. So, this is probably not a good way to approach it. I would use the other one, 2 to the 4th power. Because 2 to the 4th power is 2 to the 2 to the 2nd, because 2, 4 is 2 to the 2nd power. Remember, when you write a to the b to the c, it just means this, not this, right? Because this means a to the power of BC. So instead of writing it as BC, why would I write it as B to the C? I mean, if BC is equal to the B to the C, then they're equal, but that's a specific, special scenario. It's not in general true. So what did we get from here? We got the following. Let me summarize what we found. I got two to the power four, and then I did write it as two to the two to the two. What does this tell me? Oh, by the way, when you Right tetration x indicates the number of the same number being used. Uh, you have to include the base. So in this case, 
you have the two three times one two and three so from here x would be a three okay make sense that we were trying to solve for x and we found x by looking at the number of twos because this means that in other words this means two to the two to the two right and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye